Okay, I think it's working. Okay. So I want to repop. I want to repop this out. Like I'm just set setting everything back up again. Because it fucking ate everything. Basically, all I need to do is update the parts, and then we can look at a few random dolls and laugh at them. Then later I can do other shit. This one? No, that's the wrong one. That one? Yeah, that's the right one. Nope, 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 nope. I figure we don't need to have quite so many. Like, I had a few windows open that I was going to use if I was going to do a general doll slurp. But then we never ended up. Okay, and then... So because we crashed, Dart needs to be started back up from scratch. Using that fucking hacks mode. And it lives... I forgot to ask. Can y'all hear me? Lives there. Come on. And then I... Oop, shit. Start up Dardium. Oh, cool. Okay. Once it started back up, I can't get the test stuff looking at again. Alright, it started up. I need to wire that up. I'm not going to stream via folder anymore. I figure that might be why things were, like, it's not normally this bad. Yeah, there we go. And this is crazy. So here's my number. Oh, come on. Call me, maybe. Come on. I believe in you. You can resize the right window. Alright, so this is going to be relatively simple. We need to, first off, turn this back on. I can't believe we lost Jade. You know what? I'm, I'm blaming Jade Harley for the crash. Too much space magic. <laughs> it's a different kind of Jade Harley. Because it's the space palette. Alright, so... Um... What we were doing here, we got the tail because we've got bow back, but we don't have all the hair. So I'm not going to be streaming the folder just in case streaming too many things at once was the problem, you know? Oops. So I'll navigate there on my own time. And I see the maximum amount of bodies is 16. So that should get us a different... That's the exact same damn dress. Did I not... Did I not save? Hey, look, it's mined. Um... Thought I saved. Um... Let's see what hair... Max hair is 11. Oh, I see. It's the skirt that's not changing. That's why it looks like it's the same each time. 
Also, I bet this means we forgot to do human hair colors. Um, let me finish doing this part, and then we can wire up the, uh, the human hair colors. Mouth. There are three different kinds of... Well, technically four. Zero to three. Kinds of mouths. Um, socks. Up to eight. That's interesting. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, now, ladies. Four. Up to four sh socks. Um, hmm. No, it's four shoes, eight socks. So I screwed that up. How many skirts do we have? Oh, fuck, don't turn on Discord on accident. No, 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 no. Discord makes everything sad. I think I killed it in time. Okay, what was I doing and why? I was checking out skirts. Jesus, there's a lot of skirts. Okay, there's 24 skirts. That's going to really improve things, I think. I can't even tell what I'm looking at here. This is a beautiful creation. Thank you, Io. Uh, glasses. Up to eight glasses. And now we need eyes and eyebrows. There are two different eyes? And eyebrows, there's also two. Uh, bow front. Let's get that taken care of real quick. Up to 12. Alright, so that should be all of them. We just haven't actually given them hair color. It's adorable. Okay, so we need actual hair color. Um... How do Homestuck dolls figure out their hair color? Now, oh. let's make sure we bring that up here, though. Do, 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 do. And then we use the human hair colors. for everything but sketch. We can really just copy and paste that because I'm lazy. In this case, we named the Homestuck palette this. It's got a different way of adding to the palette. I don't care right now. It says there's a problem, but I think it's just taking some time to catch up. Yeah, I think it's just taking some time. Or it's crashing, you know, maybe there really is a problem. Oh. Huh. Oh, yeah, sometimes it, like, deletes the last thing when I copy and paste something. And I hate that, it only happens on Windows. Okay, you're gonna have a different hair color now, right? Oh, cool. <laughs> I need to tell Io about this one. I mean, I think this is working pretty well.
I had no idea Dirk's glasses was in here, but this is the most correct use of Dirk's glasses I've ever seen. I'll grab those two, sure, why not? God, I hate, I absolutely hate it trying to autocomplete my, like, just, just do one at a time, dick. And I know I can, like, configure it, but, come on, pay attention to me. I don't want to do that right now. Actually, this is a little confusing. It's, uh, not behaving like I think it should. So anytime you find me, like, going, hey, can you make sure it looks like this or this or this, it's me trying to not have to do it myself. All right, that should be enough to make it stop yelling. All right, so let's see what kind of colors we get when we do that. It's another dark. Oh no, there's another one, you guys! You guys, look at her! She's beautiful! It's so pretty. Well, that one actually looks pretty dope. Like, 10 out of 10. All right, so the next step we have is um, I need to commit this so that it can then go to the various places it needs to go. Um, fuck it, I'll, I'll open up a window. We're going to flirt with disaster again, but I'm going to open up a window so you guys can see me commit shit for once. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's correct. All right, so we need to go to tweaks dolls are ready for maker integration. So first thing we need to do is we need to actually transfer them to their final location, which we accomplish via what are the steps? There are two steps here. Let's get the images going over first. I mean, this is the same thing we saw before in the directories. It's like, look, it's all these images. Like, this is just a file system like normal. But the big thing is I've got this... Um, magic spell inside of the images over here basically this thing is going to use rsync which is like recursive sync is probably what it stands for whatever it transfers all the files from the directory i'm in to a remote location um it's not going to transfer the git stuff because that's really huge and it's just for source control it's not going to transfer anything that's got a squiggle on it because that's got like it just is a the way backups work in Linux or whatever. This is saying, hey, make sure it actually has permit like give it the correct permissions so that my my stuff can use it. It's going to send it over to Fargo Fiction. That's the IP address of Fargo Fiction. And then it's going to put it in this specific location. 
so doll source. So if we were to go over, like, open up a new tab here. Can you guys see the new tab? Yeah, you can. So if we were to go over here and say doll source, which is where it's going to put it, we would find ba -ba -da -ba, the doll source. And, you know, obviously there's no magical girl over here right now. So we're going to go run the magic script. And it will try to figure out what's new. Like, the great thing about rsync is it doesn't send everything. It just sends new things. It also doesn't... Re like, if I were to delete something, it wouldn't un delete it on the server. It's just adding. So that can, that can come back to bite me. So right now it's figuring out what are all the new files. So it's figuring those out. It sent them. Boop, boop, boop. So if we were to go over here and hit refresh... We would see magical doll. And you know, we could be like, oh, let's look at the naked magical doll. Do, do, do. It's on the server now. So that means that all of Fargo Sims can see the images, but they don't know about the maxes yet. That's the new step that PL added. So inside of lib, or lib, depending on how you want to. I have another magic spell, which is basically the exact same thing, but it says, hey, you know, it's it's literally the exact same thing. Put it in doll source. But it's going to try to shove over, like, I think I was too lazy to tell it to only shove one thing, so it's going to shove everything. But it'll also include doll data JSON. So if we were to go back over here and go up from images, we would see doll data JSON. And there's no magical girl in here yet, so we're going to go over into the command line. And go over to lib, and we see the magic spell, we cast the magic spell, goes way faster because there's not a bunch of images, and we see somewhere in here, there it is, magical doll, boop -ba doo So basically that means right now, we still have to compile everything because there's a new doll type, like that's just, it has to happen. But it means that most things are working as we speak. Um, we've got it up to date in Git. So we're, we're up to date. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, shit, fuck. I keep hitting Discord because of freaking instincts. Alright, kill Discord. So the last step I have is to... Um, make you guys look at a different window for IntelliJ. Because this window's done. Um, yes. Kill it. I don't care. We need to look at the other IntelliJ window. Do -do -do -do. Do I not have it open? There it is. So this is the actual project that lets you build dolls. Uh, the reason why they're separate is just because the doll library is used in multiple places. It's used by the doll maker, it's used by Wiggler Sim, it's used by fucking everything. So having them be separate is a good, a good thing to do. So basically, I'm going to need to copy this for Wigglersum, for any, anywhere people might want to use Magical Girls. I'm not going to copy it for everywhere right now, though. I just want to put it in the Maker so you guys can see how that works. Um, so the big thing is we need to upgrade our dependencies. One of our dependencies is Dollib Correct. And, you know, if you were to go to that URL, that's where Dollib Correct lives. Uh, the rendering library is more or less deprecated. The loader library is this thing PL made for getting stuff better. Oh, the text engine. Shit. Um, KR wanted me to make sure that I did the text engine. Made sure they had names from human names. Um, I'll worry about that in a bit. And then Common Lib is just little bits and pieces we use in basically everything. But so we need to upgrade our dependencies because this is a this is the Git repository. So when I did that push earlier, I updated it. So when I say upgrade dependencies, we should be grabbing it. Like you can see it resolving dependencies. 
it takes a while and I have to do this for every project but I used to have to do it when I had any new files at all not just entire new doll sets so hey better than nothing Dun, 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 dun. All right, it got everything. There actually was a lot of new updates, but it also involved all lib correct. Um, so when I've got local files, things aren't going to work unless I have a copy locally, which is my least favorite part about local. I can't get them off of the server just because of like. In order to be safe, you're not allowed to take things from servers you don't own, and I can't prove I own it as long as I'm doing stuff locally. So, whatever. I manually copy the files over, which IntelliJ notices and indexes, and then we just grab the index file, we open it up, Okay, this is covering that up. Let me push. I will. Um. So it's doing that thing where it doesn't load at first, but I'm trying to like sort windows before I get enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. You can see me. Don't do me like this. It just flat out says it can't see me. This is obviously a lie. What do you mean you... Mm. Alright, so... It was 45, I'm pretty sure. Oof. Yay, it works. Um, if we hit randomize, yeah, we, we get... It's just the, the same thing that was called when we were refreshing the page earlier. Oh, she's got bunny ears. Look at that, guys. Um, so everything should just work. Like, it's all automatic. Like, I'm really proud of the engine overall. So yeah, we should be able to just... Oh, look, bodies. Um... Their name... Yeah, that's that's the part that Kara wanted me to make sure I hooked up. They don't actually have a name yet. Given that she's got horrible black eyes with orange pupils, yeah, maintaining eye contact is going to be important. Six new hands? That's a lot of hands. Okay, so basically it's, it's all wired up besides the names. Um... I think this is a good stopping point for the stream, to be honest. Like, I need, I want to wire the names up, but that's like 10 seconds. And then it's just deploying to, to the page. Um, same kind of magic spell that got the images going. So not really all that interesting. So sorry for all the weird technical problems, guys. But thanks for helping me at least focus enough. Sniper, you never noticed the SCP generating? Oh my god. Yes, I love the SCP generation. Okay, hold on. Let me make a new new doll. What's what's this fucker doing? Dun, 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 dun. It must have access to pant. But yeah, I love the SCP generating stuff so much. And then if you were to just murder it. Oh, just the fact that we got a, a, a magical girl doll anyway was kind of random. But it should be any kind of doll. 
Yeah, like, there's a tree. Fucking Euclid tree. Um, I'm expecting this to probably crash. I don't know. Hi. Thought I deleted everything besides Magical Girls, so I guess I didn't. But yeah, you see, you can just pick them out of the list. So, that's how it works. <laughs> all right all right all right all right i have got to i'll code a little bit faster but at least you guys got me over the hump and you know a little bit more about dulcim now i'm gonna end the stream thanks for joining